Introduction to the Ancient Holy Communion of Sign in at the Beginning No waste, no licking of dogs, Tianjiao's competition for dominance is unbeatable and thrilling, Jun Xiaoyao travels through the fantasy world and becomes the godson of an ancient family. He has an invincible background, amazing talent, and has also obtained a check that I end system. At the beginning, he signs in a great ancient holy body. Sign in at the Taiyu ancient monument and receive a six-star reward, with the power of the divine elephant to control the prison. Sign in at the ten dot year banquet and receive a seven-star reward, supreme bone. Sign in at the bronze immortal hall and receive an eight-star reward, as well as the mother chi cauldron of all things. Sign in at borderless sea and receive a ten-star reward, he transforms into the dharma. Countless years later, as you sat leisurely in the sky, your sword pointed to the heavens and said, Nine heavens and ten earth, my lord is sinking and floating. At the end of the immortal road, I am the peak. Chapter 1 Sign in for the Great Eucharist, All Saints Worship Vision You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Wilderness Immortal Domain, one of the three thousand prefectures of Huangzhou, is the ancestral home of the ancient aristocratic family and the Jun family. The Jun family is an extremely glorious force in the immortal realm, inheriting countless eras and having a great emperor in their ancestors. During this period, the entire imperial state and even the desolate immortal realm were trembling. There is a shadow of dragon and phoenix, surrounding the void god island where your family is located, emitting dragon and phoenix sounds. There is a rumor that it is because there is a legendary descendant of a legendary figure in your family who has been pregnant for ten years and is finally about to be born your family's void god island is located in the heavenly emperor palace. Many elderly members of the noble family are breathing rapidly at this moment, looking at the baby in swaddling clothes. Since birth, the baby has not cried a word, but there is a look of confusion in its big eyes. But what the people of all ethnicities care about is this baby, shrouded in golden rays, like a young true dragon. Is this an ancient holy body a tribal elder took a deep breath. That's right, it's definitely an ancient holy body. Why does the heavens treat my lord's family like this? Another clan elder cried out in sorrow. The ancient holy body appeared in the tribe, and they not only did not have any surprises, but also pounded their chests and feet, feeling very disappointed. The reason is simple. In ancient times, the holy body was indeed extremely strong, ranking among the top five out of three thousand constitutions. It could compete with the most powerful constitutions such as the eternal immortal body, chaotic divine body, and heavenly dominant body. The great Eucharist can even be called the great emperor of ancient times. But in ancient times, the laws of heaven and earth have undergone drastic changes, and the environment is no longer suitable for the cultivation of ancient sacred bodies. Even ten shackles were imposed from heaven, restraining the growth of the Holy Communion. At this moment, the baby, also known as Jun Xiaoyao, had a bewildered expression on his face. I have traveled through time, and it also comes with a chicken rib in the ancient holy body. Jun Xiaoyao was an orphan in his past life, adopted by a blind fortune teller. The blind man said that although he is poor and lonely in this life, he will definitely be blessed by heaven and reach the peak of his life in the next life. At that time, Jun Xiaoyao was still quite skeptical, but an accident took away his life. He opened his eyes again and had become a baby. It seems that I have indeed been born at the end of my life, Jun Xiaoyao thought to himself. From the words of those clan elders, Jun Xiaoyao can tell that the Jun family he belongs to is an ancient and magnificent family. It can be said that others were born on the starting line, while Jun Xiaoyao was born directly on the finish line. Just. Born into such a rebellious family, why is my physique useless? Is it difficult for me to start with a useless stream? Jun Xiaoyao muttered inwardly. At this moment, mechanical sounds echoed in his mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the check that I end system. Ding, check that I end location refreshed, birthplace, heavenly emperor palace. Ding, 
This check that I end triggers a new player's lucky critical strike, which can earn rare rewards of 5 stars or more. Do you want to check that I end? Is there indeed a system? Jun Xiaoyao was not too surprised. Sign in. Jun Xiaoyao silently recited in his heart. Ding, congratulations to the host. You have successfully signed in and received an 8-star rare reward. You have successfully completed one ancient holy relic. Boom. At the moment when the system sound sounded, Jun Xiaoyao could only feel an unparalleled force, like a volcano, erupting from his body. On his body surface, ten and a half illusory golden shackles appeared, and it was precisely those ten restraints. What happened? The old people of all ethnicities were startled, their eyes brushing together to look at Jun Xiaoyao. Then, amidst the awe-inspiring gaze of the elders of various ethnic groups. Cheek. The first golden chain, shattered. Boom. A terrifying surge of qi and blood surged out. Kachi, the second golden chain shattered again. The entire heavenly emperor palace is trembling, Guang's masterpiece. Then there are the third, fourth, fifth finally, ten chains, all broken together. Boom. Above the nine heavens, the wind and clouds change color, and thunder surges forth. Many saints have emerged from the sky, densely packed with over ten thousand shadows, all worshipping towards the direction of the god island of the Jun family. This strange scene alarmed the entire wilderness immortal realm. Oh my god, what's going on? There's a saint's phantom appearing on the sky. The direction they are worshipping is the prince of Huangzhou's family. It's definitely the Qilin son of the Jun family who has been pregnant for ten years. What kind of physique did he have that inspired the vision of the All Saints pilgrimage? The desolate immortal realm, three thousand provinces, many ancient powers, and the great figures of the immortal imperial dynasty are amazed. Such an anomaly is rare in ancient times. Even when the ancient emperor was born, it was just like that. Many people are curious about what kind of demon physique is the Qilin son of the Jun family. At this moment, in the Heavenly Emperor Palace, a group of clan elders who had been accustomed to the vicissitudes of life also remained in place with a bewildered expression. One of the elderly men in a golden robe, with white beard and hair, had tears in his eyes. Ha, huh, this is my grandson. He looks like a great emperor. The old man's name is Jun Jantian, and he is a high dot ranking and influential member of the Jun family. At this moment, he is dancing and dancing like an old mischievous child, holding you happily and uncontrollably. Upon hearing this somewhat familiar sentence, Jun Xiaoyao felt a slight sweat. He felt like an old general on the stage, with flags planted behind him. He truly deserves to be his own grandfather. Great, the ancient holy body that was born to break the shackles is truly unheard of, and even after searching through historical records for millions of years, we can't find a single one, exclaimed a tribal elder. With this son here, my lord's family can compete for the throne for a lifetime. Hee hee, the ancestral dragon nest of the ancient imperial family, where a dragon with the blood of Emperor Huai appeared, dared to provoke our Jun family, saying that our Jun family is young and has no one. It's really ridiculous. Another clan elder sneered. Although their ruler's family is in the wilderness and the immortal realm, they are not without enemies. The ancestral dragon nest, Wan Wangling Mountain, and other ancient royal families are forces that are hostile to your family. There are also hidden dangers in places such as restricted areas for life and eternal burial sites. However, the elders of all ethnic groups believe that all these hidden dangers will be solved with the arrival of Jun Xiaoyao. Because what their lord's family has obtained is a great ancient holy body that has broken the shackles and shackles. Roaming and rumbling within Jun Xiaoyao's body, golden blood flows through his blood vessels. After breaking the shackles of the Holy Communion, his breath also climbed step by step. Refining tendons. Forge bones. Exchange blood. Tongqiao. Gathering spirit. Amidst the stunned gaze of Jun Zhantian and the elders of the clan. 
UU reading www.uukangshu.net The cultivation of Jun Xiaoyao is directly to break through the five major realms of the physical body. You should know that even some proud sons of heaven need to spend at least five years to achieve physical maturity, which is still based on the premise of being nourished by many holy herbs. But Jun Xiaoyao was only born in a quarter of an hour, and even breaking through the five levels of the physical body would make a group of proud sons of heaven doubt their lives. The ancient holy body that has broken its shackles is truly a demon. Even these experienced clan elders couldn't help but utter vulgar words. But what's even more amazing is still ahead. Amidst your carefree surroundings, it seems as if thousands of saints are floating in the shadows, singing and worshipping your carefree Brahma. Is this a vision of the Eucharist, a pilgrimage to all saints? Jun Zhantian and the rest of the clan's elders were stunned and numb in their minds. Generally speaking, various sacred bodies and deities have their own unique visions. It is rumored that the Cheng, the ancient holy body, possesses six different visions. After awakening all of them, the six visions form six cycles, which can push all enemies in the world horizontally. A tribal elder's gaze was faintly filled with heat. Jun Zhantian couldn't close his mouth with a smile, as if he had already seen the magnificent scene of thousands of people coming to worship when his grandson proclaimed himself emperor in the future. Not to mention this group of clan elders, even Jun Xiaoyao himself was amazed. How can other prodigies of this era survive, with their invincible talents, backgrounds, and accompanying check that in systems? Just when Jun Xiaoyao felt that he needed to keep a low profile in the future. A systematic sound came from his mind again. Ding, congratulations to the host, the new check that IN location has been refreshed. Chapter 2 Startles the 18th Ancestor, Divine Sun Identity, Sequence Zero You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Well, even the system doesn't want me to keep a low profile. Jun Xiaoyao murmured in silence. Ding, the check that IN location has been refreshed. Please sign in at the Tai Yu Ancient Monument. Where is the Tai Yu Ancient Monument? Jun Xiaoyao thought to himself. However, this matter is not urgent, after all, he is just a baby now and has already signed in a completed ancient holy body, which can be said to be a perfect start. The next check that IN location will be found no later. This time I signed in and received the Desheng Ancient Holy Communion. I don't know what good things I will get next time I sign in. Jun Xiaoyao had some expectations in his heart. At this moment, Jun Zhantian slapped his head and said, By the way, I haven't given my precious grandson a name yet. How about calling him Jun Changsheng, which means he will preach longevity in the future. Jun Xiaoyao, who was held in his arms, was somewhat speechless. Although the name Jun Changsheng sounds reasonable, he still hopes to use his own name. Hey, this is not appropriate. There are too many people called Changsheng. Some clan elders shook their heads and said. In this world, everyone seeks longevity, so there are particularly many people who give this name. At this moment, a somewhat weak voice suddenly sounded. Why don't we call him Xiaoyao? My husband once said, becoming an immortal is easy and difficult to be carefree. I only hope that my child will be carefree for a lifetime in the future. Lying on the bed, the beautiful woman with a pale face spoke. She is the birth mother of Jun Xiaoyao, Jiang Ro. Faced with Jiang Ro's suggestion, Jun Zhantian and others cannot ignore it. Because Jiang Ro's identity is not that simple, she is a goddess of the Jiang family in ancient times. Although the Jiang family may not have the same reputation as the Jun family, they are also an ancient aristocratic family, how weak can they be? Okay, then it's called Xiaoyao. Jun Zhantian nodded, but he seemed to suddenly think of something on his mind and let out a slight sigh. Jun Xiaoyao's eyelids twitched when he saw this situation. He just realized that his father didn't seem to be here. Isn't it the kind of father's sacrificial ceremony with boundless power again? John Tian, don't worry. You have no regrets, but you are the white god king. How could you fall so easily? Moreover, 
as this child grows up in the future, he may not be able to seek help from his father. An old woman beside her comforted her. That's right, uh, I still have a precious grandson. Jun Jiantian regained his smile. Jun Xiaoyao blinked his eyes and secretly took note of his father's title. The White God King has no regrets. From this name, it seems that my father is quite tall, the news that Xiaoyao is a complete ancient holy body has spread, and it is feared that it will cause a vibration in the immortal realm. You should know that there are also many forces secretly trying to harm our lord's family, said an elder with deep meaning. Do you mean to use means to conceal the fluctuations of the holy body on Xiaoyao? Jun Jiantian said. The other elders also nodded slightly. Trees are beautiful in the forest, and the wind will surely destroy them. Jun Xiaoyao is now a treasure of the Jun family, and no mistakes can be made. When did my descendants learn to cover up? Can't even a holy body be protected? At this moment, a cold snort suddenly exploded from the sky. The entire Jun family was startled, with countless gazes cast above the heavenly emperor palace. That fluctuation. What a powerful aura. It's the ancestor who was sleeping in the ancestral temple, crawling out of the coffin. Hiss. Has even our ancestors been startled? Countless Jun family members gasped from all directions. That is the ancestor level figure of the Jun family, and many Jun family members never have the chance to see their ancestors in their lifetime. And since Jun Xiaoyao was born, he has surprisingly alarmed his ancestors, causing many people to be shocked and show envy. In the Heavenly Emperor Palace, the elders of the Jun Zhan Tian and other clans heard this sound and hurriedly walked out of the Heavenly Emperor Palace with a look of shock. The void above the Heavenly Emperor Palace has opened up a huge spatial crack. A somewhat thin figure in grey clothes appeared. That was an old man in a grey robe, with dust on his head and body, as if he had just crawled out of the ground. But inside his withered body, there seems to be a power that can shake the world. Just like all the heavens and all the realms are trampled underfoot by him. It's the 18th ancestor, I've seen the 18th ancestor. Jun Jiantian and others quickly bowed. This grey-robed old man is the true ancestor-level figure of your family, buried in your ancestral temple for countless years. Only when there is a great upheaval in your family, or when you reach a critical moment of life or death, will you awaken. Jun Jiantian and others never expected that Jun Xiaoyao's birth would attract the attention of their ancestors. The figure of the eighteen ancestors flashed, as if flashing, and appeared in front of Jun Jiantian, carrying Jun Xiaoyao over. His gaze was as deep as the sun and moon, gazing at Jun Xiaoyao. Jun Xiaoyao blinked his eyes, not crying or making a fuss, but with a hint of curiosity. Is this the ancestor of our Jun family? What a powerful aura, even stronger than Grandpa's aura. Jun Xiaoyao thought to himself. The eighteen ancestors couldn't help but burst out laughing and said, All right. All right, my lord's family has produced another real dragon. You fools are trying to cover up the light of this child. Eighteen ancestors, I'm afraid that someone will be unfavorable to my grandson in the future. Jun Jiantian said with a stiff face. Although they hold a high status among the elders of this tribe, they can only be considered as younger generations in front of the eighteen ancestors. Humph, I see who dares. If those old immortals dare to pull down their faces and take action against Xiaoyao, I don't mind starting an immortal war. Kill him and turn the world upside down, bleeding billions of miles. The attitude of the eighteen ancestors is domineering and boundless. Jun Jiantian and others secretly swallowed a mouthful of saliva. The immortal war is a great battle initiated by the immortal lineage of the ancient aristocratic family, the supreme imperial dynasty, and the ancient royal family. In World War I, the immortal realm can be turned upside down, and billions of people will bleed. It has been a long time since the immortal realm of the wild heaven started an immortal war. I announce that this child will become the godson of our lord's family in the future, and all cultivation resources will be tilted towards him. Even if it is hard to pile it up, 
a great holy body must be piled up. 18 Ancestors Instructed Jun Zhantian and other clan elders nodded in agreement. The ancient holy body, which is born to break the shackles, is not cultivated by fools. And, grant this child the qualification of the zero sequence, continued the 18 ancestors. UU reading www.uukangshu.net what? The clan elders were shocked. If it's just a gift of divine status, that's okay, after all, it's just a symbol of status. But the sequence is different. The Jun family sequence is qualified to compete for the position of family head. There are tens of thousands of young people in the Jun family. But only ten people have obtained the sequence identity. That is to say, only these ten people are qualified to compete for the position of head of the family. These ten people, each taken out, can amaze an era and are the top ten outstanding Tianjiao of the Jun family. And above the top ten sequences, there is also a zero numbered sequence. Zero represents nothing and infinite possibilities. Its position is still above the first sequence. The zero sequence of the previous generation was the father of Jun Xiaoyao, the white god king with no regrets. Eighteen ancestors, this is a bit inappropriate, it will make other sequences unhappy, an old woman probed. Each sequence has gone through countless tests to obtain this identity. Jun Xiaoyao was born with a zero sequence, what does this make other sequences think? They are dissatisfied, let them fight on their own in the future, and let's talk about winning over this child, said the 18th patriarch with a flick of his sleeve. Judging from his tone, it is evident that he is extremely confident in Jun Xiaoyao. Upon hearing these words, Jun Xiaoyao silently sighed. Grandfather has high expectations for him, his ancestors have a different perspective on him, as well as his own father's secrets and the hidden dangers of the Jun family. It seems that I really can't be a salted fish. Invincible talent, invincible background, and system assistance. With such a perfect start, if we can't suppress an error yet, then we can only say that I'm too incompetent. Jun Xiaoyao thought to himself. Chapter 3 The Powerful Kidney God's Treasure, Ancient Monument Sign in Place You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the blink of an eye, three years have passed. The news about Jun Xiaoyao is still circulating throughout the entire Jun family. Everyone knows that as soon as Jun Xiaoyao was born, he alarmed the 18 ancestors and personally granted him the status of a divine son. As for the zero sequence identity, it did not spread under the deliberate restrictions of Jun Zhantian. Because Jun Zhantian is preparing to hold a 10. year banquet at Jun Xiaoyao, inviting major immortal forces from the wilderness immortal domain, and then announcing the identity of Jun Xiaoyao's zero sequence. It can be considered as helping you establish a good reputation for being carefree. And this can also give Jun a chance to grow up comfortably for 10 years. However, if the rest of the Jun family's sequence is not satisfactory, Jun Xiaoyao can only solve it on his own. Jun Xiaoyao doesn't mind this. He still has confidence in his talent. Ten years is enough. After the five realms of Xiaoyao and Flesh Realm, there are the five realms of Shenzang Realm, namely, Shenzang Realm of the Heart, Shenzang Realm of the Liver, Shenzang Realm of the Spleen, Shenzang Realm of the Lungs, and Shenzang Realm of the Kidneys, corresponding to gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. After the completion of the five realms of the Divine Treasure, one can gather in the Spirit Sea, concentrate in the Divine Palace, and transform into true spirits. In a palace of the Heavenly Emperor Palace, Jun Zhantian is explaining his cultivation to Jun Xiaoyao. During these three years, Jun Xiaoyao has been consolidating his own realm. Every day, various sacred medicines and elixirs are placed in front of Jun Xiaoyao like cabbage. The cultivation of the ancient holy body consumes the most resources. But Jun's family is actually an ancient aristocratic family, and can really afford Jun Xiaoyao's resource consumption. After three years of accumulation, Jun Xiaoyao felt that he could break into the next realm at any time. Grandpa, how long does it usually take to break through the divine treasure five realms? 
Jun Xiaoyao asked. Jun Zhantian pondered and said, Ordinary Tianjiao takes about five years, while peerless Tianjiao may also take two to three years. You are an ancient holy body, unparalleled in physical form. Perhaps one or two years will be enough. One or two years. Jun Xiaoyao thought to himself. After pointing out the path of cultivation, Jun Xiaoyao began to sink down and cultivate. What he cultivates is the supreme martial arts of your family, the Tai Xian Jing. This Tai Xian Jing can be practiced continuously to the highest level, and is one of the top martial arts in your family. However, as long as Jun Xiaoyao wants it, he can obtain any resource or skill. Roaming and rumbling in Jun Xiaoyao's body, there is a thunderous roar, and golden qi and blood fill his whole body. The accumulation of these three years has exploded at this moment. If you look inside at this moment, you can see that within Jun Xiaoyao's body, his heart is shining brightly, as if he is about to open a door. Um. I don't know. Jun Zhantian beside him was a bit stunned. He just finished explaining, is his grandson about to break through? I dare not write novels like this. However, just as Jun Zhantian was shocked. In Jun Xiaoyao's heart, it seems as if a door has been blasted open. Boom! Jun Xiaoyao only felt that his physical body had increased several times, and his endless golden blood and energy were surging and surging. His strength instantly surged tenfold. Does this open the heart god's treasure? It seems like it's just that, Jun Xiaoyao asked in confusion. He feels that it's not as difficult as Jun Zhantian said. Since the breakthrough was successful, Jun Xiaoyao did not hesitate and continued to charge towards the next door of the divine treasure. Half an hour later. Boom. The liver's divine storage was once again shattered, and qi and blood were shaken. However, after a while, the divine treasure of the spleen was once again opened. Then there is the god of the lungs. Finally, as the day was about to pass, Jun Xiaoyao's whole body trembled, and the god of the kidney finally exploded. At the moment when the five great treasures in his body were opened, Jun Xiaoyao felt like he had transformed into a war god, capable of suppressing the ten directions of the world. And Jun Zhantian, the old man, was stunned and lost in thought, murmuring. Damn it, it took me two years to break through the divine treasure five realms. Surprisingly, this grandson broke through in just one day. People compare themselves to others, and they are infuriating. Jun Zhantian felt like a useless person in front of his grandson. No, it's just a waste. Except for his older age and higher cultivation, he can't compare to Jun Xiaoyao anywhere. Grandpa, I feel something's wrong, Jun Xiaoyao suddenly frowned. What's wrong, is there something wrong? Jun Zhantian regained his senses and nervously said. Jun Xiaoyao is a treasure of the Jun family. If there is any problem, the eighteen ancestors must peel off his skin. How do I feel that the power of the kidney god Tsung is stronger than the other four god Tsungs? Jun Xiaoyao asked in confusion. This is not to say that his other four divine treasures are not strong, but rather the kidney divine treasure, which is a bit too strong. Jun Zhantian hurriedly stepped forward to investigate, and finally breathed a sigh of relief, his gaze complex with a hint of envy. Grandpa, am I okay? Jun Xiaoyao asked. Of course it's okay, Xiaoyao. In the future, you should spread more branches and leaves for your grandfather's lineage. When it comes to the ten dot year banquet, I will ask Jiang Rou to give you the pearl of their Jiang family's hand as a gift. Jun Zhantian said. This. Jun Xiaoyao was taken aback for a moment, and then suddenly realized. Dare to feel the power of the ancient holy body. As for arranged marriages, Jun Xiaoyao would not casually fall in love with the pearl of the Jiang family. By the way, Grandpa, do you know what the Taiyu ancient monument is? Jun Xiaoyao shifted the topic. In the past three years, Jun Xiaoyao has been settling down and has not signed in. Now that his cultivation has broken through once again, 
it's time to go to the check.in area and sign in and receive rewards. The Taiyu ancient monument was originally a stone tablet standing in the wasteland immortal realm to test physical strength, but it was later dug up by our Jun family and placed in the martial arts arena for future disciples to test their physical strength. Jun Zhantian said. Surprisingly. Jun Xiaoyao sweated slightly. The Jun family is really domineering, they dug up the Taiyu ancient monument directly. But that's also good, it saves Jun Xiaoyao the effort of searching. Grandpa, I want to try the Taiyu ancient monument, Jun Xiaoyao said. This. Jun Zhantian hesitated. Young juniors who go to the Jun family martial arts arena are generally over 10 years old. Jun Xiaoyao is only three years old now. Even though it is a rare ancient holy body, if we really want to test it, it may still not be as good as those older Tianjiao. Grandpa, don't worry, I'm just trying it out. It's okay if I fail, Jun Xiaoyao said. He just wants to simply sign in and receive a reward. Okay then, Jun Zhantian nodded slightly. As for children, it's also good to have some setbacks. Avoid having too much talent and develop that arrogant personality. Follow your grandson and comfort him if you fail, Jun Zhantian thought silently to himself. After three years, I can finally leave the Heavenly Emperor Palace. Jun Xiaoyao walked out of the Heavenly Emperor Palace. Although he is only three years old, due to the ancient sacrament, he looks like a boy of five or six years old. The black hair is crystal clear, shining from the roots, and the skin is crystal clear like jade. Her facial features seem to be carved from heaven, beautiful and natural. At a young age, one is born with a fairy-like and handsome appearance, like a young exiled immortal. It's hard to imagine how rich and handsome Jun Xiaoyao will be when he grows up, and how graceful and elegant he will be. What rewards can you get for signing in on the Taiyu Ancient Monument? Jun Xiaoyao was curious. Chapter 4 Jun Linglong, Seven Orifices and Linglong Heart, who is Jun Tiendi. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The Jun Family Martial Arts Arena is located on a giant island suspended in the void. Many descendants of the Jun family will practice in the martial arts arena. Among them, there are not only arenas, but also various places for testing cultivation, which can be used for future generations of the Jun family to test. The Taiyu ancient monument was forcibly occupied by the powerful members of the Jun family and moved to the martial arts arena for the disciples of the clan to test their physical cultivation. At this moment, next to the Taiyu monument, a young girl dressed in palace attire is adjusting her breath and preparing to challenge the Taiyu monument. The girl was about 14 or 15 years old, with a head of golden slightly curled long hair that flowed down like waves, and her hair was crystal clear, shining brightly. Her skin is as smooth as cream, with rosy cherry lips and a noble and elegant temperament. Although not very old, the delicate body of the young girl wrapped in tight palace attire is exquisite and elegant, revealing her initial scale. I wonder what achievements Jun Linglong will create this time. She has a seven orifices and a delicate heart, and her speed in comprehending various martial arts is extremely fast. I believe she has mastered all kinds of body refining techniques. I heard that there were several sequences who wanted to recruit Jun Linglong as a follower, but she refused. Many children of the Jun family around, looking at a young girl named Jun Linglong, whispered in unison. Jun Linglong, although not one of the top ten sequences, is still considered a well-known noble woman in the Jun family. Because she has a delicate and delicate heart. This kind of heart, also known as the heart of a saint, represents that in the future, if your exquisite figure does not fall, it is destined to become a saint. Although for an ancient family like the Jun family, a saint is not particularly rare. But looking at the entire desolate immortal realm, the sages are definitely big shots standing at the top. Because Jun Linglong had the grace of becoming a saint, some sequences were willing to offer olive branches for solicitation, but all were rejected by Jun Linglong. Jintian Golden Palm 
Jun Linglong lifted her snow dot white jade like hand and bombarded the Tai Yu ancient monument. Although she appeared to be a graceful and delicate figure, at this moment it seemed as if an endless burst of power had erupted. Boom! After a loud bang, the Tai Yu ancient monument lit up with light. 150,000 pounds. Jun Linglong is so strong, adding another 30,000 pounds of immense strength compared to last time. Yeah, an ordinary Tianjiao, with his physical cultivation to the extreme, only weighs 100,000 pounds of immense power. Jun Linglong has already broken through that level. From all sides came praises, but also a group of licking dogs with fiery gazes. Jun Linglong's snow dot white jade face has always been plain, without any ripples. At this moment, a piercing female voice sounded. Jun Linglong, why did it take so long to only gain 30,000 pounds of strength? A woman in a blue dress came twisting her slender waist. She has a charming and charming face, but her words appear sharp. It's Lan Qingya, the tenth sequence, a follower of Jun Zhangjian. She has a higher status than her followers, and I heard that you are quite favored by her with your sword. Lan Qingya is not a member of the Jun family, but a follower recruited by the tenth sequence Jun with a sword from outside. Jun Linglong ignored, but Lan Qingya spoke sharply and said, the sword-wielding young master has left a record of five million pounds of immense strength on the Taiyu ancient monument, which is dozens of times that of you. But you refused his invitation. Do you know how ignorant you are now? Lan Qingya couldn't stand Jun Linglong's false aloofness. Even though Jun had already taken the initiative to recruit her with his sword, Jun Linglong still refused him. In Lan Qingya's view, Jun Linglong is just a pretentious green tea bitch. Although Jun Zhangjian is very good, it is not the best yet. The people I follow, Jun Linglong, will be the ones who can suppress an era, Jun Linglong said calmly. No one knows, the seven orifices are exquisite and the heart has a hidden ability, which is to vaguely glimpse a corner of the future. Of course, this ability is extremely challenging and cannot be actively utilized. Jun Linglong has only been triggered once since she lived to this day. In that corner of the future, Jun Linglong saw a blurry transcendent figure, dressed in white, with her back to all living beings. Billions of creatures, ancient tribes, all bow down behind him, shouting the name of their ruler, the Heavenly Emperor. At that time, Jun Linglong believed that in this lifetime, the Jun family would surely produce a real dragon to suppress the eternal time and space. Just in that corner of the future, the Emperor of Heaven who is worshipped by sentient beings actually refers to which Tianjiao sequence in your family. Because of this doubt, Jun Linglong never followed anyone. She has been waiting for the person who most resembles Emperor Jun Tian to appear. Jun Zhan's sword body is in the tenth sequence, although very strong, it has not yet given Jun Linglong the feeling. However, when Lan Qingya heard Jun Linglong's words, she found them very ridiculous. He he, suppressing an era, Jun Linglong, your excuse seems a bit ridiculous. Even the strongest first sequence of the active Jun family dare not say this sentence 100%. Because this is a world of great struggle, with the rise of thousands of ethnic groups and the emergence of Tianjiao. No Tianjiao dares to speak up and can suppress this era. At this moment, in the distant sky, a white crane caught everyone's attention. On top of the white crane sat a figure that resembled a young deity. It is Jun Xiaoyao. He has only broken through the five realms of the divine treasure and has not yet gained the ability to travel in the air, so he can only come by riding on a white crane. Who is that figure? You look so young, do you come to the martial arts arena at such a young age? A group of children from the Jun family began to discuss. Since birth, Jun Xiaoyao has been staying in the Heavenly Emperor Palace and has never walked around your home. Therefore, apart from the eighteen ancestors, a group of clan elders, and their birth mother Jiang Ro, no one else has ever seen Jun Xiaoyao. Hmm. He. Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes fell on the young figure, and her seven orifices and delicate heart suddenly trembled. A palpitations arose in the heart. 
I don't know. Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes gradually widened, and an intuition surged into her heart. The white crane falls, and you are carefree with your toes, landing easily. What a handsome boy, I really want to pinch his face, said a young girl from the Jun family with a beautiful expression. Cute, I want to ride. Another plump and domineering woman from the Jun family stared at Jun Xiaoyao with beautiful eyes and a silly smile on her face. Staring at such a group of women from the Jun family like wolves and tigers, Jun Xiaoyao felt a bit scared and panicked. His kidneys are indeed quite strong, but ultimately he is still a three-dot-year-dot-old child. He doesn't want a small horse pulling a big cart. This child's chi and blood are too strong, how come he feels stronger than us all? A young man from the Jun family couldn't help but ask, Child, which branch of the Jun family are you from? Why have you never seen you before? Jun Xiaoyao casually said, Of course you haven't seen me. This is my first time coming out of the Heavenly Emperor Palace. The first time from the Heavenly Emperor Palace. As the young man from the Jun family spoke, his body suddenly trembled. The Heavenly Emperor Palace is a place where the highest ranking group of people in your family are eligible to reside. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net The young man looked at Jun Xiaoyao with shocked eyes and said, You. Are you from three years ago? That's right, I'm Jun Xiaoyao, Jun Xiaoyao said lazily. Wow. As one sentence fell, the entire martial arts arena was in a state of shock. Jun Xiaoyao can now be said to be the most mysterious and highest-ranking descendant of the Jun family. Born three years ago, he alarmed the eighteen ancestors and personally granted him the status of a divine son. It can be said that Jun Xiaoyao's current status is no less than the top ten sequences. Farewell to Lord Shenzi. In the martial arts arena, all the children of the Jun family bowed and bowed together. Jun Linglong's eyes showed a strange expression, but he also bowed to Jun Xiaoyao. Lan Qingya's face also changed. As a vassal with a different surname, she didn't dare to offend Jun Xiaoyao and quickly bowed down. Looking at the scene of the Jun family's children bowing respectfully to him, Jun Xiaoyao secretly chuckled and thought to himself. No, according to the routine, shouldn't someone come out to question me and be slapped in the face by me? How can I pretend to be so obedient? Jun Xiaoyao has a feeling of not being able to exert any force when hitting cotton. He still wants to pretend to be coerced, no, it's just a sparring. However, Jun Xiaoyao still underestimated the identity of the Divine Son. I'm afraid no one present dares to show any disrespect towards him. Forget it, since no one is provoking me, I'll just sign in as soon as possible. Jun Xiaoyao shook his head slightly and walked directly to the Taiyu ancient monument. At this moment, a mechanical sound of the system came to his mind. Ding, we have arrived at the Taiyu ancient monument where we signed in. Do you want to sign in? Sign in. Jun Xiaoyao murmured silently in his heart. Chapter 5 Sign into Shenxiang Jin Jian Jin, a three dot year dot old spiritual sea realm master. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Ding, congratulations to the host. You have received a six star reward, and the divine elephant has the power to control the prison. After the system's voice fell, waves of mysterious martial arts mnemonics flooded into Jun Xiaoyao's mind like a torrent. The divine elephant governs the prison, using qi to attract the divine, using the divine to form an image, lifting hands and throwing feet, the power of the divine elephant, one's body, 100,000 particles. Every particle is like a divine elephant. Awakening 100000 particles is the power of 100,000 divine images added. With a single punch, the mountains and seas are cut off, the stars are shattered, the sun and moon are overturned, in just one thought. The divine elephant suppresses the jail, such a powerful method. Even in your family, such a body refining method is rare. Jun Xiaoyao sighed inwardly. He has also browsed through many of the top body refining methods in the Jun family, 
but methods such as the Divine Elephant Shin Jail Force are still very rare. I thought the 6-star reward would be far inferior to the 8-star reward, but now it looks pretty good, Jun Xiaoyao sighed in his heart. And Jun Xiaoyao also understands that the system rewards, from low to high, are divided into 1 star to 10 stars. 1 star reward is the most ordinary, and 10 stars are the most exquisite. The 6 star reward is already quite impressive. Does this divine elephant possess the power of prison control, perfectly matched with the unparalleled ancient holy body? Jun Xiaoyao sat cross-legged on the ground and began to contemplate in place. His original intention was to sign in at the Taiyu Ancient Monument, not to test his physical strength. There are 100,000 particles in the human body. First, the particles are transformed into giant elephants. After awakening, the giant elephants become dragon elephants, the dragon elephants become elemental elephants, and the elemental elephants become divine elephants. Jun Xiaoyao fell into enlightenment. But the children of the Jun family around the Taiyu ancient monument were confused by Qi Qi. What's going on? I thought Lord Shenxi came to Taiyue ancient monument to test his physical strength. Yeah, why did you just sit on the ground? In the eyes of these children of the Jun family, Jun's carefree behavior is simply a great reward for human confusion. They naturally didn't know that Jun Xiaoyao was comprehending the power of the divine elephant to control the prison. The feeling of palpitations, perhaps he is really. Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes gazed at his leisurely sitting figure. Despite being just a three-year-old child, he is like a young deity, giving people a sense of unfathomability. I'm not sure yet, but... It's not impossible. Jun Linglong pondered. When Jun Xiaoyao was born, he triggered the pilgrimage of all saints and shook the entire desolate immortal realm. Many disciples of the Jun family present are speculating on what kind of constitution Jun Xiaoyao is. Although Jun Zhantian and others did not deliberately conceal the news that Jun Xiaoyao was an ancient holy body, they also did not deliberately publicize it. So most people in the Jun family are not yet aware of Jun Xiaoyao's physical condition. Is this the legendary divine son who has been widely rumored? He doesn't feel like he has three heads and six arms, and he's still so young. Is he going to challenge the Taiyu ancient monument? Lan Qingya is also observing Jun Xiaoyao. She didn't have much awe in her eyes, after all, she was backed by the tenth sequence of the Jun family. Many times, even some of the nobles of the Jun family are unwilling to provoke Lan Qingya, fearing to offend the Jun Zhang Jian behind her. The sword-wielding young master created a record of five million pounds on the Taiyu ancient monument. Looking at the entire wasteland immortal realm, it is located at the top stream. With this divine son's current state and age, he can only weigh at most 100,000 pounds, right? Lan Qingya thought silently to herself. Being able to receive the favor of wielding a sword from you is the luckiest thing in her life. In her eyes, no one can compare to you wielding a sword. Including Jun Xiaoyao. But at this moment, Jun Xiaoyao is completely immersed in enlightenment. Vaguely, he sensed 100,000 particles in his body, like 100,000 embryos, each containing an unawakened giant elephant. Boom! Jun Xiaoyao mobilizes the golden qi and blood power of the ancient holy body. The ancient holy body can be said to be the most suitable physique for physical cultivation, and cultivating the divine elephant immortal force is naturally twice the result with half the effort. Boom boom. Quickly, Jun Xiaoyao felt a tiny particle inside his body break open, as if a giant elephant had awakened and roared up to the sky, crashing down the stars. A divine force burst out from Jun Xiaoyao's body as the giant elephant particles awakened. 10,000 pounds of tremendous strength. Jun Xiaoyao's mind shook. A giant elephant represents 10,000 pounds of immense strength. Ruajun Xiaoyao transforms 100,000 particles in his body into the power of 100,000 giant elephants. So it's a billion pound force. And you wield your sword with only 5 million pounds of immense strength. 
1 billion to 5 million, the difference is simply incomparable. Awakening a particle, it will be much more convenient next. I want to see how many giant elephant particles can be awakened by the ancient holy body at once. Jun Xiaoyao whispered. He continued to cultivate, and golden qi and blood rose up in the air, as if behind him, transforming into a golden divine elephant that suppressed heaven and earth. What a powerful qi and blood! What kind of martial arts is that? Why have I never seen it before? The fluctuation of Jun Xiaoyao's cultivation swept across the entire martial arts arena, and countless Jun's children stared blankly at the scene before them. Golden Divine Elephant, suppressing the world, with a rolled trunk, as if it can hold the bright moon for nine days. And you are carefree, sitting in front of the Divine Elephant, like a young war god. Boom Boom Jun Xiaoyao's body occasionally heard the sound of exploding beams, as one giant elephant particle after another awakened. In the end, Jun Xiaoyao suddenly opened his eyes and his blood surged into the nine heavens. His realm has unexpectedly broken through once again at this moment, reaching a new level from the great perfection of the divine treasure five realms. Linghai Realm A golden spiritual sea opens up from Jun Xiaoyao's body, vast and surging, earth-shattering. Awakened a thousand giant elephant particles, and also broke through to the spiritual sea realm. Jun Xiaoyao looked down with a strong aura. Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net After the five realms of the physical body and the five realms of the divine possession, there are three major realms. Linghai Jiuchong Tian, Shengong Jiuchong Tian, Jinling Jiuchong Tian also known as Zhu Ling Hai, Ning Shen Gong, Hua Zhen Ling. At the age of three, those who have broken through to the realm of the spirit sea can be traced back countless years in the immortal realm. I didn't read it wrong, did Lord Shenzi break through to the spirit sea realm? A disciple of the Jun family widened his eyes, his chin almost falling to the ground. Three-year-old Ling Hai realm master, hiss. A group of Jun's children gasped for air and began to doubt life. Not to mention them, even Jun Zhantian, who was hidden in the void, had a somewhat shocked old face. He was originally here to take care of Jun Xiaoyao, afraid that Jun Xiaoyao's failure would undermine his Tao heart. However, now Jun Zhantian feels that his Tao heart has been affected. My grandson is simply abnormal, but there's something about where his martial arts come from, Jun Zhantian murmured. He is a saint realm expert, and he can tell at a glance the extraordinary power of the divine image in controlling the prison. Having awakened a thousand giant elephant particles, I must give it a try. Jun Xiaoyao looked at the Tai Yu ancient monument in front of him, eager to give it a try. A thousand giant elephant particles represent ten million pounds of immense power. This is already the tenth sequence, double the sword wielding record of Jun. If nothing unexpected happens, your record of wielding a sword may not be able to be maintained. Jun Xiaoyao clenched his fist with one hand, his surging divine power surging within his body. The divine sun is going to challenge the Tai Yu ancient monument. Can he break the record of wielding a sword with a ruler? The entire martial arts arena, countless disciples of the Jun family, their gaze converged at this moment. Lan Qingya bit her lip and said to herself, No, the record of the sword-wielding young master will not be broken by anyone. Chapter 6 Breaking the Eternal Extreme Realm, Will Jun Linglong Follow? You are listening at NovelFull.audio The record of wielding a sword weighing 5 million pounds has been preserved on the Tai Yu ancient monument for a long time. It's not that he is the strongest among the younger generation in the entire Jun family. The rest of the sequences are mostly practiced or closed off outside, without any physical strength testing at the Tai Yu ancient monument. At this moment, seeing Jun Xiaoyao about to take action, the whole audience's gaze converged. After all, Jun Xiaoyao was born with a golden spoon in his mouth and was granted the title of Divine Son upon birth. His every move has attracted attention from all directions. If Jun Xiaoyao's performance is not good, Although everyone may not dare to mock him openly, they will obviously have some reservations in their hearts. 
Jun Jiantian, hidden in the void, is also unusually nervous. Whether you can establish credibility in your family for the first time depends on your performance this time. Jun Xiaoyao himself didn't think so much, he just wanted to test his strength after breaking through. He clenched his fists with five fingers, simple and without any fancy. Jun Xiaoyao felt as if there were a thousand giant elephants surging in his body, and the terrifying power was transmitted from his muscles to his fist. Boom! Jun Xiaoyao punched and struck the Taiyu ancient monument, and the golden divine image behind him seemed to have also emerged from the attack. In an instant, the entire ancient monument roared and trembled violently. A dazzling number appeared on the Taiyu ancient monument. Ten million pounds. Hiss all the children of the Jun family, with a look of terror in their eyes, rubbed their eyes desperately, unable to believe what they saw in front of them. At only three years old, weighing ten million pounds of strength. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, they wouldn't have believed it at all. Lan Qingya widened her beautiful eyes, her delicate body trembling for a moment, and her soul was deeply shocked. Although she refused to admit it, the Taiyu ancient monument has never been at fault. Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes also shook, confirming her inner speculation even more. Even Jun Jiantian, who was hidden in the dark, his old face was stunned, appearing somewhat comical. However, the matter has not ended. A series of cracks, centered around Jun Xiaoyao's fist, spread in all directions like a spider web. This. Jun Xiaoyao himself was also stunned. He swore that he never intentionally destroyed public property. Click. Amidst the stunned gazes of everyone, the Taiyu ancient monument shattered inch by inch and ultimately collapsed into countless pieces. At the same time of collapse, a voice that seemed to have come from ancient times echoed through the entire Jun family. Create an eternal extreme realm and reward with the heavenly way. This voice came from the void, incredibly grand, as if an emperor was whispering. But what was said shocked the ten sides. Eternal extreme realm. What does this represent? Representing countless eras from ancient times to the present, at the age of Jun Xiaoyao, no one is stronger than his physical strength. Even the great emperor of ancient times, the supreme emperor of ancient times, at the age of three, his physical body was not as carefree as the emperor. This is definitely a terrifying record. In contrast, the record of Jun wielding his sword weighing five million pounds is clearly so shabby. Master Shensi, you have broken the eternal realm. Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes shone brightly, shining with extraordinary brilliance. If she had only guessed before, now she has a 50% chance. Jun Xiaoyao may be the invincible presence in that corner of the future, facing away from all living beings. Lan Qingya's face was pale, and this record was too terrifying for her to even imagine. Remembering the previous speculation that Jun Xiaoyao only had 100,000 pounds of immense strength, Lan Qingya felt a bit embarrassed and blushed. Huh, grandson, you're amazing. Jun Jiantian couldn't help but appear from the void, with a flushed face and a smile that couldn't close his mouth. Jun Xiaoyao's mouth twitched, why does this sound like cursing? The other disciples of the Jun family saw Jun Jiantian appear and bowed one after another, saying, I've seen the clan elder. Grandpa, this Taiyu ancient monument is broken. Jun Xiaoyao said in silence. It's okay, if it's broken, it's broken. But you've brought a big surprise to my Jun family again. Jun Jiantian couldn't help but be overjoyed. Compared to the eternal record set by Jun Xiaoyao, what is it that a Taiyu ancient monument is shattered? At this moment, a chaotic light emerged from the void and finally fell into the hands of Jun Xiaoyao. This is a reward for breaking the eternal limit. Jun Xiaoyao took a closer look and found a jade slip. A divine thought penetrated into it, and Jun Xiaoyao suddenly realized that what was recorded in this jade slip was a supreme soul refining method. Chaos God Grinding View Ideas Interestingly, is this to make both my physical body and soul invincible? Jun Xiaoyao chuckled inwardly. 
His physical body has already broken through the extreme realm, unparalleled in ancient times. With this supreme soul refining method, when the time comes, his physical body, gods, and souls will all be perfect. Who can be defeated? Jun Xiaoyao thought, put away the jade slip, and decided to carefully comprehend it in the future. At this moment, a rainbow of light came from afar, and it was a high dot ranking clan elder from the Jun family who shouted loudly. The eighteen ancestors have a feeling that the eternal extreme realm has been broken. Reward the Lord Xiaoyao's divine son with three immortal elixirs. The words of this tribal elder once again caused uproar in all directions. A group of disciples from the Jun family, jealous and extremely red-eyed. The elixir of immortality is an extremely precious existence. Generally speaking, even the top forces in the immortal realm may only have one or two immortal elixirs. Although your family is an ancient aristocratic family with rich heritage, there are not many elixirs of immortality. Reward three immortal elixirs in one go, which has never happened in your family before. However, the thought of Jun Xiaoyao breaking the record for eternity made this reward seem reasonable. Lan Qingya was so shocked that she felt a bit numb. She still remembers deeply that Jun Zhangjian was once fortunate enough to receive an elixir of immortality, which was offered as if it were an ancestor. She was reluctant to use it even when reading books. But Jun Xiaoyao got three plants in one go, the contrast is too huge. Please convey to me, thank you very much for the reward from the eighteen ancestors, said Jun Xiaoyao calmly, without arrogance or impatience. He is also preparing to return to the Heavenly Emperor Palace for seclusion and digest this achievement. Jun Linglong hesitated slightly, bit her jade lips, and still took a lotus step, feeling uneasy as she said, God, please stay. Hmm. Jun Xiaoyao turned his head and saw Jun Linglong. She was dressed in palace attire, enveloping her delicate figure that had just begun to show her size. The golden slightly curled long hair is crystal clear and dazzling, setting off a flawless jade face that is snow-dot-white and delicate, with an unparalleled temperament. Are you? Jun Xiaoyao was puzzled. Little lady, Ling Long, I have seen the Xiaoyao Divine Son. Ling Long said with a hint of nervousness. Her personality has always been calm and composed, with a delicate and elegant temperament. But at this moment, Facing Jun Xiaoyao, Jun Linglong felt that she was ordinary to the bone and couldn't even muster any arrogance. What's up? Jun Xiaoyao said lightly. Blonde-haired girls do look very pleasing to the eye, but Jun Xiaoyao is not the type who can't walk when she sees a woman. Therefore, Jun Xiaoyao's attitude is quite plain. Jun Linglong felt a rare unease in her heart. After bowing to Jun Xiaoyao, she opened her lips and said. Ling Long hopes to become a follower of the Divine Son. A word fell, and the entire martial arts arena fell silent. Many male descendants of the Jun family have pale faces and heartbroken hearts. In their eyes, the exquisite and noble woman, who can only be seen from afar and cannot be played with, is now bowing down and offering to become someone else's follower. This feeling is like being the goddess in one's own mind, actively wanting to become someone else's plaything. Chapter 7 As the Heavenly Emperor, I will kill all the enemies in the world. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Want to follow me? Jun Xiaoyao was slightly surprised. Jun Linglong's idea, he really didn't guess. Becoming a follower is a very common thing. The top ten sequences of the Jun family have a group of exceptionally strong followers behind each sequence. Either they are the Tianjiao disciples within the Jun family, or they recruit and tame talents from outside. In summary, every extraordinary figure will cultivate followers and become an important force in the future. Even his father, Jun Wuhui, had a group of followers who were known as the Eight Divine Kings by the world, each of whom could stand alone and be called an unparalleled hero. Jun Xiaoyao has also considered it, but he is only three years old now and is not in a hurry to recruit followers, so he has not paid any attention. Why? Jun Xiaoyao was curious. 
Is it because he broke the eternal realm? A kind of intuition, Jun Linglong said with deep and beautiful eyes. That corner of the future is not convenient for her to say, as speaking it out is likely to bear some kind of huge causality. Jun Linglong still cannot bear the consequences. Intuition. Jun Xiaoyao was speechless. He also noticed that Jun Linglong probably knew something, but didn't explicitly say it. However, he has occasionally heard about Jun Linglong. Born with exquisite seven orifices and a sharp and intelligent mind, one can quickly comprehend any martial arts and techniques. If it doesn't fall, it is destined to become holy in the future. This kind of arrogant woman, who is surrounded by stars and moon everywhere, has the right to follow you freely. Now it's my grandfather who takes care of my daily life. Apart from preaching to me, he also nags me to grow up and open branches and leaves for the Jun family. Jun Xiaoyao felt helpless in his heart. Although he only appears to be three years old on the outside, his inner self has already matured. Facing a bad old man all day long, even his grandfather can be very boring. It's not bad to have Jun Linglong serve as a maid, Jun Xiaoyao thought. He didn't intend to go and cultivate Jun Linglong or anything, but if he were to become a maid, he could accept it. If outsiders were to know Jun Xiaoyao's thoughts, they would surely have even hammered his heart to death. Unexpectedly, she wants to be the maid of the celestial pride, who attracts attention from the stars and the moon. You should know that even the Tianjiao sequence like Jun Zhangjian is just trying to win over Jun Linglong to become a fellow cultivator. Just as Jun Xiaoyao was about to speak, a female voice came through. Jun Linglong, how dare you take the initiative to follow others? The person who spoke up to question was none other than Lan Qingyao. She dared not offend Jun Xiaoyao, so she could only focus her words on Jun Linglong. What's wrong? Jun Linglong said calmly. Faced with Jun Xiaoyao, she would feel uneasy and nervous, but she didn't have much restraint towards Lan Qingyao. Sword-wielding young master once personally spoke up to recruit you, but you refused. Now, you are actively following others. Where does this make sword-wielding young master's face go? Lan Qingya said with an unpleasant expression. Isn't Jun Linglong's move a blatant blow to your sword-wielding face? You are excellent at wielding your sword, but those who follow me, Jun Linglong, will be the ones who suppress an era. Jun Linglong spoke with a hint of fanaticism. Ha ha. Suppress an era. Are you referring to him? Lan Qingya said subconsciously, speaking without hesitation. Humph, where did that come from? I don't know the etiquette. Jun Xiaoyao didn't say anything yet, but Jun Zhantian lifted his eyebrows and shook his sleeves. Puzzy. Lan Qingya's delicate body was knocked flying and fell to the ground fiercely, bleeding from the corner of her mouth. Jun Zhantian, relying on his identity, was too lazy to kill Lan Qingya. If there is a chance in the future, I would like to spar with the Sword Clan brother. As for you, go away. Jun Xiaoyao said calmly. He is too lazy to take action on such a small character. Lan Qingya's face turned pale. She looked at Jun Linglong and a hint of unwillingness appeared in her eyes. She turned around and left. Jun Linglong didn't pay attention, but stared at Jun Xiaoyao with a fixed gaze, revealing a pitiful and delicate expression in her beautiful eyes. If it were any other male, he might have been eager to agree. After pondering for a while, Jun Xiaoyao asked, Do you know how to serve people? As soon as these words were spoken, everyone was stunned. Tang Tang Jun's daughter Tian Jiao, has she ever served anyone? Jun Linglong was also stunned, but still instinctively nodded. She must seize this opportunity. Okay, then I agree, Jun Xiaoyao said decisively. Now, Jun Linglong and the people around her all reacted. Daring Lord Xiaoyao is not choosing followers, but choosing maids. For a moment, all the male geniuses present showed envy and jealousy. Making Jun Linglong a maid is not something anyone can do. Jun Linglong herself was also in a daze for a moment. 
she is the proud daughter of heaven and has really become a maid. However, as soon as she thought of that corner of the future, Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes showed a resolute expression. She lightly lifted her jade lips and asked, Lord Shenxi has asked so many questions. Can Linglong also ask a question? What problem? Jun Xiaoyao said. If Lord Shenxi becomes the heavenly emperor in the future, what should he do? Jun Linglong asked, his gaze fixed on Jun Xiaoyao. Jun Xiaoyao was slightly stunned, then shook his head with a faint smile and said, It's very simple. I, as the heavenly emperor, will suppress and kill all enemies in the world. Jun Xiaoyao's words fell. Suddenly, thunder exploded from outside, and the sky was shaken by the wind and clouds. Speak freely and make the world pale. Everyone showed a look of shock, and they had never seen such a scene as Yuyukeungshu.net. Jun Zhantian also took a deep breath, his gaze incredibly complex. No regrets, your child is indeed as passionate as you were back then. Jun Zhantian knows that this sentence represents a great cause and effect, which falls on Jun Xiaoyao. Just as Jun Xiaoyao said these words. A life-forbidden zone in the immortal realm, an incredibly ancient and hoarse voice is heard. The generation of the Jun family has a lot of ambition, he he. In addition, an ancient spiritual mountain where divine phoenixes fly and real phoenixes hover can be heard with a cold and sarcastic laugh. Kill all enemies in the world, uh -huh. Have your descendants without regrets become so arrogant. In an ancient nest where dragon veins converge, there are also indifferent words coming from it. The path of the emperor in this era is about to emerge, and our descendants, such as Long Outian, will make the Jun family and other ancient aristocratic families understand what it means to be arrogant and bloodthirsty, full of desolation. Jun Xiaoyao probably didn't expect that his casual words would cause such a shock. When he regained his senses, he found that Jun Linglong's gaze was incredibly bright, staring at him closely. What's wrong? Jun Xiaoyao touched his face. Linglong is willing to follow Lord Shenxi around. Jun Linglong made up her mind completely and remained unwavering. From that sentence, Jun Linglong understood a lot. Jun Xiaoyao nodded, this time the harvest was quite satisfactory. Signing in has gained the power of the divine elephant to control the prison, broken through the eternal extreme realm, and received the heavenly Tao reward, as well as the chaos god grinding view idea. He also received three immortal elixirs from the eighteen ancestors. In the end, she even recruited a blonde girl as a maid, which can be said to be a complete achievement. Chapter 8 Check in location refresh, 10th sequence, you sort out. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Afterwards, Jun Xiaoyao took Jun Linglong and returned to the Heavenly Emperor Palace with Jun Zhantian. As for the other children of the Jun family in the martial arts arena, they watched with envy and awe as they left. If Jun Xiaoyao performs poorly, everyone will naturally have grievances in their hearts. But now, Jun Xiaoyao's performance has completely conquered everyone. Didn't you see that even Jun Linglong is willing to be your carefree maid? Do you think you can regain the venue by wielding your sword? A young man from the Jun family asked with great interest. No, as long as you're not foolish with your sword, you shouldn't provoke the Divine Sun, the others shook their heads and said. Everyone knows that Jun Xiaoyao is highly valued by the 18 ancestors and has a promising future. He is destined to be the pillar of the Jun family in the future. If you offend Jun Xiaoyao because of a Lan Qingya, it is definitely a stroke of your brain. As for Jun Xiaoyao himself, he didn't even take the matter of wielding his sword to heart. If he comes to find a place for Lan Qingya, Jun Xiaoyao would be happy to fight with him. Is this the Heavenly Emperor Palace? Jun Linglong looked at the Grand Palace in front of her with a hint of excitement on her face. Although her status is high, she is not qualified to enter the Heavenly Emperor Palace. Feel free, don't be too reserved. Jun Xiaoyao waved his hand. Thank you very much, Lord Shenxi. Jun Linglong bowed to Jun Xiaoyao and smiled sweetly. If it were someone else, 
it would be difficult for Jun Linglong to take another look, but I could easily take her as a maid. Is this power and status? Jun Xiaoyao muttered to himself. Reincarnation is indeed a technical activity. By the way, Grandpa, if Ling Long takes care of your grandson's daily life in the future, you don't have to come every day, Jun Xiaoyao turned his head. Hey, you grandson. Jun Zhantian blew his beard and glared. With a beautiful maid, I turned around and threw my grandfather away, didn't I? However, he couldn't resist Jun Xiaoyao. Jun Zhantian still compromised, but sometimes if he needed to preach, he would still come. In the next few days, Jun Xiaoyao will be comprehending the cultivation technique of Divine Elephant's suppressing prison power. The Divine Elephant's prison control power is not only about cultivating immense power, but also involves the evolution of various martial arts and techniques. For example, it can evolve into the strongest attack method, the Spear of the Underworld God. Because ancient divine images can suppress boundless hell, absorb the spiritual energy of hell, and transform into spears that pierce through everything. It can also evolve the strongest defense method, guarded by the underworld god, which is unbreakable and indestructible. It can even condense the wings of demons, with both wings shaking and the void moving at lightning speed. As Jun Xiaoyao's understanding deepens, there will be more and more unlocked abilities in the future. In the end, even true ancient gods can evolve, summoning the gates of hell, and endless demons fighting for you freely. This divine elephant's ability to control prisons is really very practical, Jun Xiaoyao exclaimed. Although the Jun family also has many supreme body cultivation methods, in terms of functionality, they are not as complete as the divine elephant jail control force. I really hope there's still a chance to sign in. Jun Xiaoyao was eager to sign in again. Ding! At this moment, a systematic sound came from Jun Xiaoyao's mind once again. Congratulations to the host, the new check that IN location has been refreshed. Please sign in at the 10. Your banquet. Upon hearing this voice, Jun Xiaoyao was slightly taken aback and said, Is it my 10. Your banquet? He actually heard from Jun Zhantian that when he turned 10, the Jun family would hold a grand ten-year banquet for him. At that time, we will invite many forces from the wilderness immortal domain, ancient aristocratic families, supreme clans, and so on to come to the banquet. Even the identity of Yu Jun Xiaoyao Zero Sequence will be announced at the ten year banquet. This banquet is Jun Xiaoyao's first appearance in the world. It seems that the location and time of check that I N are random and have no pattern, Jun Xiaoyao pondered. However, it's not a big deal. The power of the divine elephant to control the prison and the idea of the chaos divine grinding temple are already enough for Jun Xiaoyao to practice now. I'm a bit looking forward to the ten dot year banquet. Jun Xiaoyao's lips curved into a faint smile. By the way, why hasn't there been any movement on the side where you wield your sword? Are you really cowardly? Jun Xiaoyao muttered to himself, slightly disappointed. At the same time. In your home, there is a spiritual island suspended in the void. The top ten families of the Jun family have different treatment from ordinary Tianjiao, each owning an independent mansion. Or it's the heavenly palace, or the divine island, or the cave of heaven and blessed land. This spiritual island is the tenth sequence of your family, the mansion where you wield your sword. On the spirit island, there is a mountain peak, like a long sword, piercing into the sky, emitting a sword-like aura of panic and awe. At the foot of the mountain peak, Lan Qingya, dressed in a blue dress, has been waiting here for several days. Has the sword-wielding young master not yet left the border? Lan Qingya's expression revealed anxiety, grievance, and unwillingness. The more she remembered what had happened in the martial arts arena, the more Lan Qingya felt suppressed and angry. But she dared not trouble Jun Xiaoyao and Jun Linglong, and could only rely on Jun wielding his sword. In the past, every time someone offended Lan Qingya, as long as they spoke up to you, someone else would always apologize in the end. It is precisely because of this that Lan Qingya has developed such a proud personality. Boom! 
At this moment, a huge wave suddenly came from the top of the mountain. The terrifying magic storm traversed between heaven and earth, as if it had formed a tornado. It's a swordsman, he broke through again. On the spirit island, some followers of the Lord wielding his sword were startled, their gaze fixed on the mountain peak. Lan Qingya's face swept with a look of grievance, appearing very uplifted. Your sword has broken through and your strength has once again strengthened. I believe you can help prevent your anger. Not to mention teaching Jun Xiaoyao, at least we should also teach Jun Linglong a lesson. On the mountain peak, a young man in a black robe carrying a sword stepped down into the void. Generally speaking, after reaching the spiritual sea realm and reaching the divine palace realm, one can step into the air. It is obvious that this young man in black is already a master in the divine palace realm. He is about thirteen or fourteen years old, with flowing ink hair and deep black pupils. His overall demeanor is like a divine sword that cuts through the sky, which is intimidating. This black-robed boy is the tenth sequence of your family, wielding a sword. It is rumored that on the day of his birth, all the sword-bearers in your family had their long swords unsheathed independently, pointing towards the birthplace of your sword. He is born with a clear sword heart and an indestructible sword body, capable of accommodating endless sword energy within his body. He also has a talent for demons in swordsmanship and martial arts. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net It is precisely because of this kind of talent that Jun wielded his sword and rose to power, becoming one of the top ten sequences. Although it is only the tenth sequence at the bottom of the ranking, it should not be underestimated. You should know that the entire Jun family is filled with young and proud individuals, making it extremely difficult to obtain a sequential identity. Not everyone is like Jun Xiaoyao, born high and of extraordinary status. Qingya, have you been waiting for me? Jun wielded his sword and fell to the ground, while a group of followers around him bowed and arched their hands. However, Jun wielded his sword and ignored it directly, looking at Lan Qingya. Sword-wielding young master. Lan Qingya squeezed out a few tears, with a look of grievance on her face, and threw herself into the arms of Jun Zhangjian. This bitch. The other followers cursed inwardly and looked contemptuous in their eyes. As followers of the Lord wielding his sword, they also cannot tolerate Lan Qingya's style. You still say that other people's Jun Linglong is a green tea bitch, but you are the real green tea bitch. What's wrong, who made you unhappy again? Jun smiled faintly with his sword. He did indeed favor Lan Qingya, and his attitude towards her was different from that of other followers. The situation is like this. Lan Qingya told the whole story. Then she shed tears of self-pity and said, Sword-wielding young master, elegance is all for the sake of your face. Who would have thought that Jun Xiaoyao and Jun Linglong? You said. Did you offend Jun Xiaoyao? Black hair obscured Jun's sword-wielding eyes, making it difficult to see his expression clearly. Yes, sword-wielding young master, you must seek justice for Qingya. Lan Qingya said wrongly to Ba Ba. Pop. However, welcoming her was a resounding slap. Are you trying to kill me? Chapter 9 Lan Qingya confesses to the emperor, the secret collection of the supreme Yuan Tian. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Lan Qingya was confused, completely confused. She covered her fiery profile and looked at Jun wielding his sword with an incredulous expression. Your sword-wielding face was extremely gloomy, and a cold expression surged in your eyes. Sword-wielding young master, are you hitting me? Lan Qingya spoke in disbelief. Feeling the gradually swollen cheeks, Lan Qingya felt as if she was dreaming. You wield your sword, haven't you always been obedient to her? Even giving Lan Qingya a feeling that the Jun family sequence is nothing more than that. Lan Qingya even fantasized that in the future, she could completely control the sword wielding of the ruler, and he would do whatever she said. May I ask which vassal with a different surname can control the sequence of your family? She is Lan Qingya capable. 
But now, looking at Jun Zhangjin's gloomy and watery face, Lan Qingya felt like he had become a stranger. Who let you provoke you to be carefree? You suppressed your anger with a sword-like tone. I, I always thought about you, young master Zhang Jian. You recruited Jun Linglong before, but she ignored her and ended up willing to follow that Jun Xiaoyao. Lan Qingya continued to defend herself. Bastard. Upon hearing this, Jun wielded his sword and couldn't help but slap Lan Qingya's other half of her face again. Lan Qingya was directly fanned away, with the corners of her mouth torn and bleeding profusely. Do you know what identity Jun Xiaoyao is, and who his father is? Jun Zhangjian was so angry that he felt heartbroken. Is Lan Qingya feeling that his sequence status is too stable, and he wants to shake it? Isn't it that you have no regrets? Now your whereabouts are all unknown. Lan Qingya gritted her silver teeth, her face ugly. You have no right to insult Uncle Wu Hui. Jun wielded his sword and slapped Lan Qingya more than ten times, turning her cheeks into pig heads. All the followers around were looking surprised. Is the sun coming out from the west? Not to mention that Jun Xiaoyao is the son of the unrequited clan uncle, his mother, and also the goddess of the Jiang family. He has also received the attention of the eighteen ancestors. Are you trying to provoke him to make me lose my position in the tenth sequence? Jun wielded his sword and wished to fan Lan Qingya to death. It's not good to provoke anyone, but it happened to provoke Jun Xiaoyao, who has the highest status and the largest background in your family. Sword-wielding young master, Qingya was wrong. Please spare Qingya. Lan Qingya knelt down and kowtowed, her chin covered in blood. She calculated countless things, but never expected that Jun would be so afraid of Jun Xiaoyao with his sword, even willing to take action against her. Get up, go and apologize to you for being carefree. You said coldly with a sword. Sword-wielding young master, this. Lan Qingya was struck by lightning. If that's the case, how will she have the face to stay at Jun's house in the future? And asking her to bow her head and admit her mistake in front of Jun Linglong is even more uncomfortable than eating shit. Hmm. Not going. Your sword wielded, and your eyes were as sharp as a sword. I'll go. Lan Qingya felt anxious and looked humiliated. Subsequently, a follower brought a bundle of thorns and asked Lan Qingya to carry them on her back. The sharp thorns on the thorns cut through her jade back, causing Lan Qingya to hiss in pain and suck in her cool breath. Never mind, I'll go with you so that we can show sincerity. Jun hesitated for a moment and decided to go with him. Lan Qingya felt even more hopeless in her heart. This is the first time she has seen Jun wielding his sword so anxiously. So, what kind of divine is Xiaoyao, who can make you wield your sword to such a degree of fear? Jun wielded his sword and brought Lan Qingya, who was pleading guilty, to leave Ling Island and head to the Heavenly Emperor Palace. Along the way, many children of the Jun family noticed it. That's the tenth sequence of Jun wielding his sword, as he passed the level. Your sword-wielding ability has improved again, and you are heading towards the direction of the Heavenly Emperor Palace. Is it the trouble of finding the Divine Sun? No, look at Nailin Qingya. Many gazes fell on Lan Qingya. She apologized, her jade back was covered in bloodstains, her cheeks were red and swollen, and the corners of her mouth were torn and bleeding, making her look even more disheveled. Is it true that you wield your sword not to seek a venue, but to apologize? All the children of the Jun family felt a sense of shock. The tenth sequence of the Tang Tang Jun family actually succumbed directly. TSK TSK, perhaps only Lord Shensi is qualified to allow a sequence to defeat a person's army without fighting, exclaimed a young man from the Jun family. Which of the top ten sequences is full of pride? It's too difficult to defeat a soldier without fighting. But Jun Xiaoyao did it. In the Heavenly Emperor Palace, you are leisurely relaxing your mind. On the side, Jun Linglong is brewing tea for Jun Xiaoyao. Using 10,000 years of dew as water, 
paired with tea picked from the ancient tree of Wudao. This pot of tea, placed outside, some ordinary Tianjiao cannot enjoy it for a lifetime. Jun Xiaoyao is drinking every day. Young master, please. Jun Linglong handed over the tea, looking like a conscientious maid. At this moment, a servant of the Heavenly Emperor Palace respectfully shouted from the door, Your Highness, you have come to the Heavenly Emperor Palace with a sword. Have you finally arrived? You've kept me waiting for so many days. Jun Xiaoyao's eyes lit up and he regained his energy. Has the royal plot finally begun? Lan Qingya went back to cry and complain, but Jun was so angry that he decided to come and teach him a lesson. Jun Xiaoyao also happens to need someone to test his divine image and prison power. Jun Linglong's pretty face was calm, but she knew that with a sword in hand, Jun Xiaoyao should be helpless. He he, Xiaoyao clan brother, it's the first time we've met since you were born. I didn't expect it to be in this way, which is really a pity. A cheerful voice came, and Jun stepped on the door with a sword, followed by a disheveled Lan Qingya, who lowered her head and carried thorns on her back. Oh, this. Isn't right. Jun Xiaoyao felt puzzled when he saw this. He felt that Jun wielded his sword and did not follow the routine when playing cards. My followers under my command have provoked the Xiaoyao tribe younger brother, and I have specially asked her to come and apologize, hoping that the Xiaoyao tribe younger brother will have a large number, Jun said with a faint smile, wielding his sword. Lan Qingya gritted her teeth, feeling extremely humiliated, but still knelt on the ground. Squeezing a sentence out of his mouth, he said, I hope that Lord Shenxi and Lord Linglong can forgive Qingya. After saying these words, Lan Qingya almost wanted to bury her head in the ground. Jun Linglong's pretty face is cold and aloof. Jun Xiaoyao is also silent and silent. Jun wielded his sword and saw the situation, his eyes twitched. He is really afraid that Jun Xiaoyao will sue the eighteen ancestors, and his future in the sequence will be completely ruined. With a clandestine grit of his teeth, Jun wielded his sword and took out a token, saying, By the way, I had previously practiced outside and unexpectedly obtained two Yuan Tian Supreme Orders. It is rumored that this may be related to Yuan Tian Supreme secret treasure, and an extra one is useless for me. I will give it to the Xiaoyao clan brother. Supreme Secret Your exquisite and beautiful eyes on the side also trembled silently. Yu reading www.yukangshu.net above the sacred realm is the supreme realm. That is the true existence standing at the peak of the immortal realm, immortal and indestructible, intimidating the eternal time and space. The value of such a supreme treasure is unimaginable. If this token is placed outside, it will stir up a bloody storm and attract countless arrogant people to fight for it. It took a lot of effort and effort for Jun to wield his sword, and he paid a lot of price to get Tu Yuan. Jun Xiaoyao was also surprised. He didn't expect that Jun, wielding his sword, would be willing to bring out such a good thing. Just as he was pondering, a systematic sound came out of his mind once again. Ding, congratulations to the host, the new check that IN location has been refreshed. Please sign in at the Yuan Tian Supreme Secret Collection. Is there a new check that I in location again? Jun Xiaoyao's eyes flickered. He discovered some rules of the check that I in system. Firstly, multiple check that I in locations can exist simultaneously. Secondly, the check that I in location can be triggered by the event. For example, as soon as he learned about the secret collection of Yuan Tian Supreme, his check that IN location was refreshed. Anyway, it seems we have to go there in the future, Jun Xiaoyao thought to himself. The opportunity to sign in is very rare, and the unknown rewards are also very tempting. Brother Zhang Jian, you are really too far sighted. Jun Xiaoyao smiled lightly and raised his hand with a gesture, holding on to the supreme order of Yuan Tian. You wielded your sword and twitched the corner of your mouth. I may not be human, but you are a real dog. However, while wielding your sword, you are also shocked. What a powerful magical power, it turns golden. 
Is it really, as rumored, an ancient holy body? You wield your sword and secretly feel frightened, even more wary of your carefree behavior. Chapter 10 Sword fighting with the Lord, is that all? Is that all? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Previously, Jun Zhangjian had faintly heard from his clan elders that Jun Xiaoyao was a sacred relic in ancient times. At that time, you still had a bit of disbelief when wielding your sword. Not to mention that the ancient holy body has almost disappeared in ancient times, even if it occasionally appears, it quickly disappears from the public. Because in ancient times, the environment of heaven and earth has not been suitable for the cultivation of ancient holy bodies, and even ten shackles have been imposed from heaven, imprisoning the cultivation of holy bodies. If Jun Xiaoyao is truly an ancient holy body, it is equivalent to a chicken rib and a useless body. Will the eighteen ancestors attach importance to a waste body? Therefore, Jun Zhangjian has always believed that Jun Xiaoyao may have a constitution similar to the ancient holy body. But now, he saw Jun Xiaoyao raising his hand, his golden magic surging, indeed resembling an ancient holy body. Because of the ancient holy body, born with a golden spiritual sea, even the blood is golden holy blood. Is it not the Xiaoyao tribe brother, who is truly the rumored ancient holy body? Jun wielded his sword and couldn't help but ask. That's right. Jun Xiaoyao nodded lightly. This is not a secret in itself, and he is not prepared to hide it. Upon hearing Jun Xiaoyao's personal confirmation, Jun's sword-wielding gaze trembled, and Lan Qingya, who was kneeling on the ground, also felt a tremor in her heart. Surprisingly, it is truly an ancient holy body. Since that's the case, why do you still fear a useless body with a sword? Lan Qingya lowered her head, with a deep look of resentment in her eyes. Today's humiliation is unforgettable to her. Since that's the case, I'll say goodbye first. Your sword arched slightly. Having been cut off a large piece of meat, Jun wields his sword and no longer wants to stay here. Wait a minute. Jun Xiaoyao suddenly said. Xiaoyao clan brother, you. Your sword lifted and the corners of your mouth twitched faintly. Is this clan brother greedy enough to devour snakes and elephants? Cough. Brother of the sword clan, you misunderstood. I was just happy to see you and wanted to spar with you. Jun Xiaoyao coughed dryly. Jun wielded his sword and had a strange expression in his eyes. He shook his head and smiled slightly, saying, Brother Xiaoyao, you are still young and there is no need to do this. When you grow up in the future, we will come back to spar. Jun Xiaoyao is only three years old, while Jun Zhangjian is already thirteen or fourteen years old. If Jun Xiaoyao is injured by the time, he cannot bear the anger of the eighteen ancestors at all. Therefore, the ruler wielded his sword and directly refused. It's just a sparring, I hope you don't refuse, Jun Xiaoyao insisted. Ah, since that's the case, then okay, but I hope my younger brother can do it according to his abilities. Jun wielded his sword with a calm and indifferent expression on his face. Compared to his status and status, he is indeed no match for Jun Xiaoyao. But in terms of cultivation level, he is enough to crush the leisurely ruler. After a moment, they arrived at an empty space outside the Heavenly Emperor Palace. At this time, outside the Heavenly Emperor Palace, a group of Jun family members had already gathered to watch the excitement and explore, hoping to know the outcome of the matter. They saw Jun Xiaoyao and Jun wielding their swords as if about to start a fight, their faces filled with shock. What's going on? Didn't we just apologize and apologize? Why did we even start fighting? No, looking at the appearance of Xiaoyao Shenzi, they shouldn't have had any conflict, just sparring. Some discerning people saw it. Their eyes were full of expressions of interest. The sparring between these two people is very interesting. One is a god with countless halos since childhood, and the other is the already famous tenth sequence. Although no one believes that Jun Xiaoyao can surpass Jun Zhangjian due to age and cultivation, they are still gambling. 
You say, how many moves can Xiaoyao Shenzi hold in your sword-wielding hand? I guess three moves. No, at least you can do ten moves. Upon hearing those people's words, the corners of your sword and mouth involuntarily curved. Although handing over a Yuan Tian supreme order made his heart bleed, now it seems that he can make a name for himself. Xiaoyao tribe brother, be careful. After speaking with your sword, the aura of the five heavens in the divine palace surged out. He didn't use any martial arts moves and directly pointed to the sword, pointing at Jun Xiaoyao. Upon seeing the situation, Jun Xiaoyao was also simple and straightforward, clenching his fists with five fingers and bombarding him. A thousand giant elephant particles awakened within the body, adding ten million pounds of terrifying divine power. With this punch, the void seemed to be twisted, and a huge air cannon surged out with a loud roar. Feeling this power, Jun's sword-wielding expression immediately changed, and he quickly wanted to withdraw his hand, but still couldn't avoid it. Boom! A loud bang came out, accompanied by the cracking sound of bones. Your sword was thrown away like a shell, and your finger bones were shattered. This scene shocked all the families watching the excitement. What exactly happened? Lan Qingya, who followed, also had a frozen expression on her face. Jun Linglong's beautiful eyes were dazzling, and she was indeed not following the wrong person. Cough. You wielded your sword with a disheveled face, your finger bones shattered, and there was also a deep fear hidden in your eyes. That terrifying divine power left him with lingering palpitations. And Jun Xiaoyao himself was also very surprised. Isn't Jun Zhangjian the tenth order of the Jun family, shouldn't he be very powerful? Is that all? Is that all? Jun Xiaoyao's face darkened slightly and he said, Brother Zhangjian, you can't be so humble to me just because I'm young. This is an insult to me. After speaking, Jun Xiaoyao took the initiative to take action. Your face changed as you wielded your sword, and at the same time, your heart was filled with bitterness. He swore to heaven that he would never compromise. However, not only are you carefree, but even the melon-eating masses in your family are discussing and believing that you have humbly surrendered with your sword. Nine Swords of the Rising Sun Watching Jun Xiaoyao attack again, Jun wielded his sword and had to fight with all his might. He slashed out his nine sword lights one after another, tearing through the air with powerful waves that were heart-wrenching. Guardians of the Underworld Jun Xiaoyao directly activates the defensive skill in the Divine Elephant's prison control force. In an instant, it seemed as if a ghostly ghost appeared, enveloping his entire body. The nine sword lights collided with the shadow of the underworld god, causing Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net to shatter into countless light points. Jun Xiaoyao charged out again, revealing a pair of pitch black wings behind him, which were the devil's wings. His speed suddenly skyrocketed, and he dodged directly to the sword of Jun Zhan. Spear of the Underworld God Jun Xiaoyao raised his hand and grabbed it, his endless divine energy surging into a purple-black spear, burning with a pitch-black abyss, as if it could pierce through all things in the world. Purple Emperor Sword Technique In a hurry, Jun wielded his sword and used his signature sword technique, slashing out a purple sword shadow in the air. Boom! A major collision erupted, but the outcome was that the Dark God Spear, which wielded a massive force of ten million pounds, directly broke through the purple sword shadow, and then fell to the Lord wielding his sword without diminishing its momentum. Jun wielded his sword and quickly offered his long sword behind him, blocking it horizontally. Bang! With a loud impact, Jun wielded his sword and his long sword was thrown away, crashing into one side of the wall. Those Jun family members who came to watch the excitement were almost staring out, their eyes filled with shock. Are these just three moves back and forth? The tenth sequence of Jun wielding his sword was actually beaten down. Even with humility, it is impossible to be so humble. Now, even Jun Xiaoyao reacted. It turns out that Jun was not humble when wielding his sword, it was because he was too strong. 
As soon as he thought of misunderstood Jun Zhangjian, Jun Xiaoyao shook his head secretly and felt very remorseful. He walked up to the disheveled Juan Zhan sword and said apologetically, Sorry, brother Zhangjian, I misunderstood you. I thought you were humble, but I didn't expect you to really do your best. Upon hearing these words, Jun wielded his sword and almost vomited the blood he had just swallowed. He has a saying in his heart that he doesn't know what to say or what to say.